morning, guys. Well, I have been using the Radio Master T16 for a little while now. I really like it. But, but, and this is a big problem, I discovered a hardware fault on it. But um, fortunately, there really is a very, very easy fix to this. Now, <laughs> the best way of explaining this, this is a defect within the Hall Effect gimbals. Now, essentially, in one direction, it just doesn't move exactly the same amount as the other direction. And this can be replicated. Essentially, each gimbal is just rotated around itself. And you, I guess it's only in one direction. So on this stick for me, I'm flying in mode two. If I move in that direction, I see the problem. And if I move in that direction on the other one, I see the problem. It's 100% reproducible across multiple radios. But it's kind of easy to fix. Now, I thought that the simplest way of me explaining this to you is to show you some footage of the actual screen of the radio now it's not the best because i've kind of to film it i've had to put it all up on my lap and really try and balance things the light's not brilliant but it kind of will show you what i mean now you can see in this video here how if i move my stick one way i get 97 percent and the oh, pushed it hard i went to 100 you, you see what i mean it's kind of i don't get all the way across um and that's not right now, essentially, shall we have a look at this video again? So you can see here, to the side, 97, and then back to 100. 97, back to 100. And it essentially, the stick just doesn't go evenly all the way across. Well, I found a really simple fix to this. It's how we calibrate. And there's a procedure you need to do to do this correctly. And it's, it's really not difficult. Now... One of the things to look at, essentially, so often when we calibrate, we, we do the whole wizard and then we say move the stick to all of the extents. And do you know what we do? We get the stick and we rotate it like that. That's kind of not really what you should do. It works, but on these gimbals, it doesn't work so well. The solution is when you calibrate, you move in a perfect cross and a perfect cross. That's it. Do not rotate it round the extents of the stick like that. Now, if we take a look at this video again, yeah, let me load it up so I can see while I'm talking to you. You can see over here in the video that when I calibrate, this is exactly what I do. Essentially, up, down, left and right. So up, down, left and right on each stick for calibration. Now, the result of this is that things start to work because if we now jump to a post calibration screen and uh, let me find my video clip here there you go post calibration in this form and look at that we go to 100 to 100 so <laughs> the long and short of there is a hardware fault there is no doubt a mechanical defect within the radio there's something that causes it to bind or I imagine maybe like the Hall effect um, sort of whatever they use for the Hall effect of the potentiometer probably has a slight deviation or position it's probably out by like a micrometer or something utterly stupid but it does show this problem solution is dead simple now again the truth is it probably wouldn't make a damn bit of difference to your flying if you left it going 97 100 or 98 100 you know what the percentage is so small that in an actual aircraft you will not see the difference but it's a little niggle and it's annoying and there is such an easy fix calibrate it the right way it will always go 100 100 you're not going to have a problem <laughs> well apart from that it's an easy fix and really really simple to do so i would suggest personally get on and calibrate it correctly because you won't regret it well certainly you won't regret it if you're a bit of a stickler for detail like i am anyway guys cheers enjoy your day